may I interest you in a butler. Jimmy Butler, that is. That's what we're talking about on today's Golden State Warriors today. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jay Sr. According to a report, the Golden State Warriors could look into a Jimmy Butler trade with the Miami Heat. Before we dive into all of this and have a great basketball conversation, your first thoughts. This is today's poll question and our pinned comment. So scroll on down and get your votes in. Should the Warriors call Pat Riley and the Heat about Jimmy Butler? Type Y for yes or N for no. This report coming from Forbes Sports, Evan Sittery with this one saying this, if the Heat decide to trade Jimmy Butler, the Golden State Warriors will enter the conversation as an interested team. Also, Anthony Slater of The Athletic with this. He's a very trusted warrior source and insider. Golden State has the necessary salaries and future picks that could potentially appeal Miami. And Miami's in such a fascinating spot here. They're a team that has been up and down. NBA Finals appearance, bad year. NBA Finals appearance, bad year. Deep playoff run, and then they're somewhat average. And around Jimmy Butler, they could use some different pieces. And then you look at the Golden State Warriors, who have this megastar in Steph Curry, who are also looking for other pieces, who are coming off really back-to-back -back disappointing years since winning the NBA Finals a couple of years ago, and they need that other co-star too. So two teams that are kind of co-star hunting in Miami and Golden State, and this might be the co-star that Steph Curry really needs. It would signal most likely the end of Klay Thompson, but Jimmy Butler is a dog. Jimmy Butler is fearless. He plays his best basketball in the playoffs. He can get you a bucket late in games, whether it be in crunch time, overtime, end of the fourth quarter, in the regular season. That's when he rises up to occasion. And that's that, that, he's that other player that Steph Curry would really be able to trust and utilize. Jimmy Butler's numbers over the last four years, look, you can look at the regular season numbers. You can scoff at those and say, Chase, he's only averaging 20, 21, 22, 23 points per game separately in these last four years, but it's the playoff numbers. And it's the time in which Jimmy Butler rises up to the occasion that makes this a really intriguing idea. And this past year, what did he do? Started to take some more threes, and with that, the three-point efficiency was pretty good in the regular season. He shied away from that shot. If there's anybody who could convince him to take more of them, it's a three-point god in Steph Curry. Now, Jimmy Butler, with that being said, won't be the biggest floor spacer, but at the end of games, you're going to have Steph Curry who can control the basketball. He provides you the floor spacing at all three levels to the half-court logo. And then Jimmy Butler, who can handle the basketball, but play off-ball, both can create and get their shot at really all three levels of the floor, and they make their teammates better. That's both with how they play the game of basketball, but the attitude they have when they take the floor, lace up the kicks every single night. Stats don't necessarily do Jimmy Butler's impact justice. When it's the playoffs, he rises up to be one of the best players in the entire NBA. But the big question here is this one. Will Miami even hold trade talks? Do they even want to get rid of the player who's brought them to two NBA Finals appearances since 2020? The first one in the bubble in the last year when Miami lost against the Denver Nuggets. And you can make the argument, too, that those Heat teams, they didn't have really a spot at the table to be in the NBA Finals. But why did they get there? Jimmy Butler. So if the Golden State Warriors are looking to make that championship run and to maximize the remaining prime years for Steph Curry, is this the best co-star that you could go with? Think about that for a second. Here's what Pat Riley had to say about Jimmy Butler, his lone superstar on that roster. Who moves the needle the most on our team is Jimmy Butler. Jimmy moves the needle the most. He's an incredible player. What I said at the beginning about change is he's got to give it some thought himself for this team to be what he wants it to be and what I want it to be and owner Mickey Arison and everybody else wants it to be. So Pat Riley has a lot of respect for Jimmy Butler. Pat Riley is one of the godfathers of the NBA. And he has always preached for his teams, whether it be a coach or an executive, to be mentally tough. Jimmy Butler has that. 
mental toughness. So this has been really a perfect marriage for Miami and Butler, and it's combined into being a marriage that has led to a lot of success. But if the Miami Heat don't want to give him that contract extension, Butler could force his way to go somewhere else. Pat Riley on a Butler trade as of May 6th said no. But if things do change, as Anthony Slater pointing out, Warriors are going to show some interest. Butler's contract is this, and he's looking for a contract extension on that max type of level, $48.8 million in 2024, 2025, and then $52.4 million in 2025, 2026. Miami is not going to let a player of this pedigree, who's been this successful, who's meant this much to that organization, walk for nothing. They are going to ask for some sizable pieces back via the trade market. I want to know, would Jimmy Butler be the right Steph Curry co-star. Do you like my singing? Probably not because I wouldn't even give that a vote of confidence. If you think no, comment a better co-star down below in the comment section right now. Coming up on the other side, what would it take for the Golden State Warriors to land Jimmy Bucket? Stay tuned for that. But there's still plenty more to get to, including our sponsor for today's show. And that is Prize Picks. Easy and exciting daily fantasy. And you can get a $100 deposit match at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the code CLNS for that deal to apply. With Prize Picks, you could turn $10 into $1,000 in a single game watching your favorite sports this summer. You can make a Prize Picks lineup in as little as 60 seconds. Shout out Nicolas Cage. You just need to pick more or less on two to six players' stat projections. And you're locked in. So pick those two or more players, choose more or less on those projected stat totals, and you can win big time money. Our picks for game one of the NBA Finals, Derek Lively, more than 17 points, rebounds, and assists. In that same category, Derek White, more than 23 and a half, and remaining in that category, Luka Doncic, more than 48 and a half. Give me the Mavs, by the way, in six over Boston. Win big money, withdraw your winnings, pick more, pick less, pick prize picks. We'll put that link down below in the show notes and in the description and comment section of this video. So first of all, in order to get Butler, you're going to have to part with some good pieces, as we said a few moments ago, and Jonathan Kaminga probably has to be in that deal. So producer Smitty's trade idea would be this one. The Warriors received Jimmy Butler and Thomas Bryant, a backup big at best at this point. And then the Heat received Jonathan Kaminga, Andrew Wiggins, a salary filler, Gary Payton, a salary filler with that deal that he signed with the Trailblazers, Gui Santos, Nick Mannion, remember him, and then two first round picks. I know, I know, a lot of you watching right now are already going down to the comment section saying, this guy's a fraud, this trade sucks. It seems like a lot. But you get a top 15 player. And if you get that top 15 player, does that change your trajectory as a team that can win the NBA championship? If you want to go all in for the next two, three years, this is the type of move that you make. Even with Jimmy's age and his injury history. Plus, it's not like you're going to lose a bunch of depth if you're Mike Dunleavy Jr. And you can still have a pretty deep team here your potential lineup too because you can still afford this may i interest you in steph curry clay thompson jimmy butler draymond green and then trace jackson davis as your center and then coming in off the bench brandon podjemski moses moody thomas bryant and then lester the summer league legend so you hope that clay in turn here would take a team friendly deal he has said before, I like being able to go out onto the bay and drive my boat and be around the Bay Area, put on a wetsuit, go swimming. I love living in this area. I don't want to play anywhere else but with the Golden State Warriors, where I've won four NBA championships, and I've turned into one of the great two-way players of all time. He is also coming off a down year. And another clunker in the play-in tournament. So if he wants to stay with Golden State, take that team-friendly deal. We bring in Jip, Jimmy, and then we chase that championship. Rate the Warriors' potential lineup with Jimmy Butler. Comment 1 to 10. 1, awful. 10, very good. Now, 
Now, let me throw this out there too. You sign a few cheap free agent targets, and I could see why the Warriors would want to make this move. And then you become a viable destination for those free agent targets to come to your team to chase that championship. I've said this here on the show a lot. Steph Curry is the most selfless superstar in the history of sports. Great leader, great player, sacrifices for others. Isn't going to punch you in the face like Michael Jordan, right? He rallies people around him. He makes people better, and people want to play alongside him. Jimmy Butler is also a player who is a little bit more intense, but people like being around him because he pushes them to fully maximize their capabilities as athletes. Be sure to subscribe to us here on Golden State Warriors today. When there's a report, we discuss it. When there's breaking news, we break it down. This is the most interactive, informative, insightful, thought-provoking Warriors channel here on YouTube. So join the family.